Hey folks, it's Nick Granville. So I made it through two weeks of posting every day to YouTube. Um, I'm going to keep it up and uh, appreciate everybody's uh, comments and all that kind of kind stuff that people are saying. Doing my best with this stuff and enjoying it. Um, and I hope you're enjoying too. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. There'll be more stuff coming soon. Guitar related, music related, all that kind of good stuff. So today I thought I'd talk about a little bit about a exercise that I saw Dan Lutz post. Dan is a really great LA based bass player. Um, so he, he was talking to bass players, but you know, you can do this on guitar or any instrument, really. It's a pretty cool idea. So the idea is, is you take a two bar pattern and you play it twice to make up four bars and every four bars play a fill. And with that fill, you want to play something unique and different every time you do it. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to take a riff. I'm just in the key of E and my riff's going to be... Right, that's my two bar riff. And then every second bar, I'm gonna play a fill. I'm gonna try and play something different every time I do this. So see there, I put a little fill in. I'm gonna put a metronome on and I'll show you what I mean. But that's the general idea of it. And if you have something like that happens where you don't quite get back to the riff in time, that's something to work on. I know for me what happened there was I started to overthink it. I started to think, well, what if I do this? What if I do that? Whatever. The better thing is just to let it flow. I wasn't flowing then, so that's something I might work on, right? But the idea of it, what happens is you start to, to develop this groove into that fill, right? A lot of times I think when it comes to soloing, people talk about a lot of notes and a lot of scales and all that kind of carry on. And that's all good stuff. Right, we need to know chords, we need to know scales, we need to know what works, right? But the one of the best things about about a good soloist is you hear groove happen in their plan, you know? When I hear Tom Bukovac play, that guy it just grooves like his his pocket is real deep. Uh, Andy Timmons, when you hear Andy Timmons flowing, it's just deep. Tim Pierce, um loads of great players you know um any of the great players really there's a groove and a pocket to it and this is one way to kind of work on your pocket so i'll try it again i'll show you what i mean And you see, the ideas don't necessarily have to be complex, you know. A lot of times what makes things really good is not necessarily how fast you play. I mean, frankly, I don't really care about that, to be honest, how fast someone plays. Um, it's like, what's the musical expression that's going on here? You know, listening to Jimmy Page play, I hear a guy kind of say more with one note than I hear a lot of players play with 100 notes. You could play fast stuff too that had a thing. Um, you know, Jimi Hendrix or uh, Wes Montgomery, you know. Um, it's like, it's that expression in the note miles davis you know miles was the king of it he played just a note that just kind of melted your heart right and that's the thing for me is that's what i'm looking for so even some of those ideas there were really quite simple ideas but the idea of them is to try and milk as much out of them so things like you know it's one type of vibrato what about both have very different musical feeling to me what about so i've played essentially the same bend three times three different ways and that's what i'm looking at with that feel like how many different ways can i can i say something and what am i trying to say and, and making sure it sits right in the pocket and that's why it's good to use a metronome because i think a metronome kind of keeps you honest 
anyway give it a try see what happens try it a little bit every day you could do this for five minutes a day and you would notice a big difference in your playing i think um it's something i used to do but not exactly like this exercise but something similar um and i used to do it a lot when i was at music school and um it was nice to see dan mention it and i went oh yeah something i, I should work on so it's added into my practice diary as well so thanks so much for watching as i said my name's nick granville i'm a professional guitar player this is what i do play this thing for a living um so if you uh, want to take lessons hit me up in my website at my website nickgranville.com um, we can organize something via skype or zoom or if you're in wellington new zealand um in person or if i'm traveling because i'm often on the road or whatever we can hook up something i'm sure we can make it work but send me a message um and uh if you check out yesterday's lesson i was talking about double stops and various different things like that and ways to learn jazz tunes i put some stuff on my facebook page which is nick granville music um go and get it get it there and check it out if you like um anyway thanks so much remember to subscribe cheers